Hello everyone, welcome to my first official YouTube video. Technically, I already have some videos on this channel that are mainly art based, so feel free to go and look at those if you want to. In the meantime, this is the first official video featuring me. So this channel is basically going to be an extension of my art Instagram page. If you don't already know, I have an Instagram page where I, for the past few years, have been showcasing my artwork, my paintings, drawings, photography, um, some work in progress, videos, the whole nine. So feel free to follow me over there if you want to. I'll put the link somewhere on the screen. <laughs> Um, yeah, feel free to follow me on Instagram and in the meantime, you can also subscribe to this channel. I'll be posting mainly art related videos, um, some speed progress videos, just to kind of extend my journey as an artist um, and just grow beyond Instagram, um, bring it to the YouTube space. So yeah, this video is going to be a Q&A, get to know me, the artist behind the art video. Um, so I'll be answering about 10 questions because if we do more than that, I'll probably chat this entire video out. Um, yeah, so we'll do 10 questions to get to know me. Um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, let's start. <laughs> My name is Kaylee Reynolds and I am from Jamaica. Okay, where do you attend school and what are you studying? I attend New York University. My major is studio art and my minor at the moment is business of entertainment, media and technology. Um, I say at the moment because I don't know if that's going to be my minor for much longer. We'll see, stay tuned. I mainly create paintings on the fine art side of things, which is mainly what my major is about. But then also I do a lot of photography from time to time and illustration. How did you get started in the art? Um, this is a long story. <laughs> Uh, okay, so long story short, um, in about third form, this is not the earliest memory of art, but this is what matters. In third form in Jamaica, you're supposed to pick your subjects for CSEC, which is kind of a national examination. Um, so I didn't know what I wanted to do at all. I initially chose a range of subjects so business science spanish um and i didn't have art on the list initially and a friend of mine was like why don't you do art and i was like okay so then i did it and i did really well at that stage and i was at first i was like okay i'm definitely not doing it in cape which is again another examination but it's a step above csec and i don't know i just really didn't think about pursuing it but I honestly just couldn't deny how passionate I was about it so I was like okay I'll just I'll do it I'll do it in case and then I was like I'm not doing it in college what spoiler alert um so yeah that's basically the story it was just kind of like a passion that I couldn't really shake every time I had assignments like I could have five assignments and they would all be due the next day except for the art one and I would still start the art assignment first um, so yeah I basically I don't know I just kind of feel like you should always pursue what you're passionate about um, so if something is telling you okay this is what you should pursue then that's definitely what you should pursue like I feel like if you pursue something that you're passionate about you'll kind of have the drive to succeed um, and yeah okay this answer is way too long next question <laughs> Um, five years. I don't even know what I'm doing next year when I graduate. By the way, I'm in my final year. I'm going into my final year. Um, in five years, hopefully, I'll be working for some sort of design or illustration agency. But if I'm being honest, I think the ultimate goal is to be my own boss. Okay. 
What is your favorite piece you've created so far? Um, my favorite piece I've created so far is a painting. Um, oil on canvas. I'll insert a picture right here. Um, I feel like I could talk for hours about that painting. It's kind of, I guess, the beginning of my senior thesis, so stay tuned for that. For now, here's a picture. What's your favorite thing about being an artist? My favorite thing about being an artist is the opportunity to create something new every single day. I feel like um, it just keeps me excited in the sense that each time I sit down and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do a painting or I'm going to do a photo shoot, it's a little bit different than the last project that I did. Um, and that's just exciting to me. As I said, it's like, I don't know, it's important for me to pursue something that I'm passionate about because then I'll just continue um, growing in it and I'll continue enjoying it. So yeah, that's my favorite thing. Okay, favorite movie of all time is This Christmas. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, favorite TV show. Uh, okay. I would have to say The Vampire Diaries, even though it's done. I've been like re-watching it for like three years, just over and over. Um, okay, let's pick a favorite current one. Um, I'm kind of excited about How to Get Away with Murder. It's the final season. <sighs> I feel like they're all going to like end up in jail or something. I just don't say anything good coming from that show. But anyways, if you if you watch that show, comment below. Okay, next question. So that's the only thing you like to do was Vampire Diaries and. Oh, what else do I like to do? Um. <laughs> I like to dance. That's like my secondary passion. Um, I think I thought about it too late, but recently I was like, oh gosh, I wonder if I can minor in dance. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's going to work out. I only have two semesters left, but that's also another passion of mine. Okay, so do you have any advice to your younger self and to your younger creatives? Um, advice to my younger self? I would say just do it. Um, before I was talking about how I was always saying, okay, I'm not doing art at the next level, I'm not doing art. But I don't know, sometimes you just have to kind of listen to your gut and my gut was telling me just to pursue art. So I would tell my younger self to just go for it. Um, and I think especially in the creative realm, it's kind of, easy to compare yourself and just question yourself so I think that would, that's what I would tell my younger self just do it and then advice to younger creatives I would say don't be afraid to ask questions um, I think especially in the creative field there's so much uncertainty there's so much doubt um, so I think it's a really good practice to reach out to people who have been where you're currently at. Um, just ask them about their experience, any advice that they might have. Um, you'll learn a lot because, and then it's also going to help with the community aspect. I think in the creative field, we have to look out for ourselves, support each other the whole night. Um, so yeah, that's the advice I have for younger creatives. Okay, so those are all the questions I have, but if you have any questions for me, feel free to comment them down below. I will answer them in the comments or in a future Q&A video. You can also ask me questions on Instagram. Again, I'll put it right here, follow me. Um, and yeah, stay tuned. I'll be uploading hopefully every week. That's the goal I've set for myself. Um, so we'll see how that works out. That's the plan, we'll see, we'll see. So just, just plan for every week. Subscribe, turn on your notifications and look forward to videos every single week. Um, again, this channel is going to be, let's just call it an art YouTube channel. I don't know. Is that a thing? I don't know. Um, okay. Yeah, that's it. I guess. Bye. <laughs> no joke. Okay. Like, comment, share, subscribe and see you next time.
Welcome to my first YouTube channel video. <laughs> is this simple? Yeah, I feel like this is simple. Hello everyone, welcome to my... I feel famous.